Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 5 Let's Play where today, as usual, we just need to get some upgrades going. But the key for today, the key, like the ultimate key, is the question. Are balloons any good at Town Hall 5? I mean, they're good at every Town Hall as far as I'm concerned. But I've never really played with like level 1 or level 2 balloons. I've just never... I've never given them the time of day because I've always been about spending as little as possible and getting as much as possible. And that really works extremely well up till about Town Hall 8. About Town Hall 8, um, you can pretty much just barge away or use Mask Goblin or whatever and, and grind it easily. Uh, and then once you get to Town Hall 9, that's when balloons become a little bit more essential if you like using them. And I, I do. So the question today is... Are balloons any good at Town Hall 5? Like, that, that's the question that I want to ask today. So, I say we get right into the content. I'm, I'm excited to give it a try. I haven't experimented at all. Basically, I'm just going to find a base that's got decent loot. And we're going to see what we can get up to. Also, don't forget to use creator code. Um, I, I had a really good uh, conversation with a clan mate about creator code and how easy it is to forget. So I like to remind you guys in the videos as much as possible. If you love a particular content creator, even if it isn't me, always make sure that you're supporting a content creator using the creator code with your in-game purchases. Like if you buy the gold pass or gems or whatever. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. A link for uh, the deep link is down below in the description. But right now, here's what we got. I've got five giants for distraction purposes. I've got 19 Barbarians and 18 Archers for the majority of the loot grabbing. I've also got 10 Wizards. I've got Wall Breakers. And I've got Balloons. The big question is, are the Balloons any good? So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually attack from the other side. Let's go Giants on one side. I'm going to Balloon. Just one Balloon and a Wizard. We, we want to take out this uh, Wizard Tower as quickly as possible. Look at that Wizard, man. Getting that loot done. Or get the, the loot, the, whatever, the attack in. That was awesome. All right, so a, a few more giants. Let's get the barbarians and the archers in. I'm also going to drop a balloon to snipe that... What is that called again? Cannon. There we go. Um, all right, and of course, I can't really use a wizard on this cannon. Okay, so the, the barbarians should stay relatively distracted, so this should work out great. Okay, so let's get the giant in there. Let's also get down this balloon... That is, or I'm sorry, get down the arch tower. That is distracted right now. That's good. And I want to take out the air defense with the giants and stuff because air defense will wreck balloons any day of the week. So now, you know what? Let's get a few more balloons down. Or, uh, wizards. Jeez, I can't talk right now. Um, we're going to get the balloons in. They are now focused. The wizard tower is now focused on the balloons, but I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get it. Let's go ahead and lightning spell down the wizard tower and boom, it goes down at the same time as our archer towers. That actually worked out fairly well, all things considered. I expected it to be worse, if I can be honest. So, let's just... Let me think. Put down a, a few wall breakers, and those are going to help out with the barbarians and everything over there. And then I'm also going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put down a few wall breakers, and then the rest of the uh, the wizards. I really... Oh, wow! The wall breakers didn't break in. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, so, what's the verdict? Ooh, the archer tower goes down! Oh my goodness! I think the real MVP of this raid has been the Wizards, man. That was crazy. But no. But no. No, no, no. So it's not going to be a three-star at all. I mean, that that cannon right there is going to dominate. If I had saved a single balloon, which we should. We should save a balloon for the next raid. Like, until the end of the raid. Uh, we, we should keep an, an eye on that. But I think we did fairly well, all things considered. Are balloons great? I don't know, but I think wizards are. Wizards are really great, but I don't use them. I, again, I've I've been very clear about this, but I'll say it again. I, I don't use the wizards. I don't use the balloons. I don't even use wall breakers because they're expensive. I don't need to use them. I can search until I find a base that works with the cheaper army. It doesn't hurt me at all, but it's kind of interesting trying out something new. So I got the two star. I got the 81%, and I've got all of the loot. Uh, I say we, uh, I don't know, let's go right back out and do another one. All right, let's go. Let's do this. But of course, this one, oh yeah, definitely not going to attack a base with two air defenses. That would be stupid. <laughs> that would be really, really dumb, right? Oh man. Anyway, so let's try to find a base that's still got decent loot 
with one air defense. Why is this so hard to find? Okay, that one is one. Loot's not that great, though. I definitely want more elixir than that. Okay. Patience is key. Even with a strategy like this, with strength, right? This strat this base or this attack strategy has a lot of strength in it. Uh, I still want to be very smart. So I want to pick a really uh I want to pick a base that'll fall to this strategy. I want to get that three star, not just for my own pride. But I think it's just more fun to watch, right? Just waylaying a base that's that's loaded with loot, right? So let's find this. Let's find this. I guess while I wait, while I while I search, remember that we have released memberships on YouTube. There will be a link in the description if you want to check this out. But for two bucks a month, you can get access to my videos a day early, 24 hours early, and you don't have to watch ads. So it's ad-free, early access to videos for only two bucks a month totally worth it it's an to me that's an amazing deal um highly recommend it but anyway uh, i found this base it's strong it's a really strong base but i want to try it anyway i'm feeling gutsy i don't know if i deserve to feel gutsy but let's go ahead and try it anyway right so uh first things first let's go giants i realize there's a spawn hole but let's just drop the wall breakers down there anyway the uh mortar is Fine, there we go. Let's go one, two, three. Balloons are in there distracting. Let's go giants over here too. And then let's get everybody in all at once. Trickling in troops is kind of fun. It gives you that semblance of strategy. But at the same time, I like to just go in there and just blow up bases, right? So it looks like that wizard tower will go down. The wizard's on the end making it happen. All the balloons are dead. I told you guys the air defense just absolutely wrecks absolutely wrecks balloons so you don't you want to avoid air defenses at every turn if you're able to Ooh, that lightning spell nearly destroyed that mortar man that would have been amazing if it had gone down because right now we're looking pretty good our front line is pretty much limited though if that mortar had gone down i could see us maybe still getting a three star but i don't think it's gonna happen guys i don't think it's gonna happen the wizards are doing a great job though Ooh, ooh, mortar yes i know it didn't matter i know that it didn't affect anything but it made me feel better seeing that mortar go down. It really did. I have to be honest. But there you go. That was pretty solid. Good loot. Didn't get the... Th I didn't even get a one star. What? And there was... Well, there really wasn't any like free loot or free, free buildings. That gold mine right there. If you look at that gold mine under the name, I could have put an arch on that corner and gotten that one. Got an, a one star. Should have been paying better attention. Should have been paying better attention. <laughs> That's all right, though. Okay, so the loot was amazing. We got more than enough loot. Let's go into our progress base and let's get some upgrades. First of all, like I've been saying for a long time now, I'm basically just doing the most expensive upgrades. We also weren't sure about the max level of Archer Towers from the last episode. So there you go. Proof that you have to upgrade the Archer Tower at least one more time in order for it to be maxed for Town Hall 5. So, I'm assuming that's the most expensive gold upgrade. It is. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do both of these Archer Towers. I want to spend it so that other people can't steal it. That's just the bottom line. So, 180,000 gold, 8-hour upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam! And, of course, the other one is the same price, so 3, 2, 1. Bam! Very good. And since level 6 is maxed for the, for the, uh, for the cannons, I'm assuming it's also the max level for the Archer Towers. Very good. So now, what is, I mean, what are the options? I've got Collectors of Mines, the Little Cannon, the Little Archer Tower, Little Bombs, and Little Air Bombs. Okay. Well, the cheapest, I'm sorry, the most expensive gold upgrade are the Air Bombs. That's cool. This level 2 Air Bomb is also maxed. Awesome. We didn't know that last time. So now that we're discovering what is actually maxed, I'm going to go ahead and move that one across too. And we're going to upgrade an Air Bomb. The most expensive upgrade we have access to. 20,000 gold, 4 hour upgrade in 3, 2, 1, BAM. And of course we'll move that baby across the way as well. And look at that. We are down to 4 traps, a single archer tower, and a single cannon. We only have 6 upgrades to go, guys, before we're maxed to Town Hall 5, except for the collectors on mines, which I, I keep saying I'm going to upgrade off camera, but I don't. I keep getting getting distracted you guys understand get busy on other accounts you know whatever so i intend on doing that eventually i don't want to speak too much because if something doesn't happen i'll get called out for it 
That's good. I'm glad you guys hold me accountable. So, um, so yeah, six upgrades to go. Six before we're Max Town 05. That's awesome. Again, plus collectors and mines. That's exciting. Then we're going to be moving on to Town Hall 6, and things get really interesting whenever it introduces heal spells. Oh, yes, the heal spells. I'm super excited about heal spells and healers. Town Hall 6 is all about healing, right? Very exciting stuff. But for now, all three builders are done. Moving up in the world, getting awesome, getting stronger. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, I want to back up a little bit. I did say there's six upgrades left. That's actually not true because this cannon, which, which cannon? Yeah, this cannon is level three. It is to go to level six to be maxed. Same thing with the Archer Tower. So we're, we're a little bit more than six upgrades, more like more like 10 or, or so. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 5 Let's Play. Today was a good time. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the Klaus family. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you could be one of the first to see the new videos and uh, to type first into the comments because everyone always likes to try to do that um also do not forget to support your favorite content creator using the creator code i've already mentioned that but i'll mention it again don't forget to support your favorite content creator if you want to support me use code klaus you can put it in manually using the uh, settings more settings scroll to the bottom menu system Fill it in, and there you go. Or use the deep link, which I've provided for you guys down below in the description. That, of course, has to be used on the device that has the game on it. That's the only catch. Uh, remember that it disappears every seven days, so always double-check it before you make any in-game purchases. Also, become a member. Two bucks a month, absolutely worth it. But there's actually higher tiers than the two bucks a month for the ad-free early access video thing. Uh, there's a $5 tier, which gets you access to our Discord and Special Wars where you'll get to go into my clan and war with me in a war that I'll stream and make a video about. Sound cool? Check it out. Link's in the description. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.